Okay. Oh, wow. And if you look outside, there's uh, food trucks and such for the event. But this is actually one of the rooms. This is the sheriff's bedroom. This was the sheriff's bedroom. Three of the four diamonds. So what's in here? Did you put the little I'm coming out. Bed. Okay. Going up the stairs and going down the stairs. One, two, three, four, five, six. Spotlight, spotlight, spotlight. God, it is a tiny staircase. Oh. Oh, I gotta lay off the Alfredo. <laughs> Come to get right now. Does things still work? Oh, no, it probably doesn't. There's stuff in there. AC unit, nice. Just imagine. God, I love the look at this room. Hey, look at that. Oh. Whew. Oh. Ooh. Honey, look. This, this room is dark. This had to have been an office, like a tiny office. Oh, there's further stairs. Pardon me, good sir. It's a nice, musty smell of cologne. There's a switch box for everything. I mean, just imagine, you know, all this. Once being the uh, construed of a jail. This room is actually pretty nice. They redid it. Yeah, all the outlets are changed. Oh. God, look at that. That doorknob is amazing looking. The etching in it. Huh? Yeah. Sorry, I got from hell. Here goes from hell. The all new band touring. Yeah. Oh, it's Zach Bagans. Bagans was here? Bagans was here. No. Yeah, there's Zach. Oh my god, that's Zach. What's up, Zach? Shit. Now I gotta find that episode. Yeah. <laughs> if we ever get big. Shout out to Zach Bagans. Shout out to Zach Bagans. We're gonna get Bagans. One of the first people to meet. He did. And then it was way like Oh my God. This is the one I wanted to go to. Guard quarters. Imagine just being locked up in one of these every night. How steady are these pipes? Oh no, they are not steady.
no windows. Now this one doesn't even have a bathroom. Like solitary confinement, you know? <laughs> the darkest ones are the most creepiest. This is a much larger one. I don't know, dude, Hiccups from Hell, I'm serious, they won't go away. Hiccups from Hell. It's, it's gonna be my new band name, Hiccups from Hell. <laughs> Sunbeam. Sunbeam deodorant soap, huh? What? Sunbeam deodorant soap. See, there's a little packaging that says it. Deodorant soap? Yep. A jail cell with only one shower? Well, it's the shower cell. You throw like three women in here at once and get them cleaned up. So we're, we're, remember, this is where the women was all locked up. This is the women's cells? Yeah. So we gotta go to the men's. Yeah, we do. We have to go all the way downstairs, but we're gonna take our time. We're in a hurry. This one's huge. Why is this one so big? Now I know why there's no urinals in here. These are the women's cells. Well, these are probably the one, the one where they brought him in for holding, and then they put him in jail. Yep. Definitely the big one. Not meant to get out. Oh yeah. Oh, good God, don't judge me. Okay. So we're top floor. Zach Bagans has done this place. Is that another shower stall? Yeah, this is another shower stall. So there was two. Yeah, I know, I know. We, we don't need to go any further because we're trying to be family friendly. Most important thing I can tell in the world. Anyone damaging county property will be prosecuted. I'm pretty sure that still applies to this day. No, no doubt. Criminal clerk. Oh my god. Like, here's all the numbers to all the criminals, but then again, they're all written in the same handwriting, so this could have been Taurus. Uh, tourist trapped. I this is pretty damn cool. Oh, another bathroom. Yeah, this one has a mirror. They stop doing mirrors in gym cell. Did you break your glass or you break the mirror? Neither. Okay. That was just the hinge that popped. Okay. But the fun fact, uh, I think, I think my, if I remember correctly, they stopped doing mirrors in gym cells because they could break the glass and use the glass as a knife yeah. to escape. Shit, everybody. Blah! <laughs> Alrighty. Down the stairs, pretty cool. Nice. Alrighty. We will resume filming here shortly. Alrighty, so I'm here with Nelson Smith. Nelson Smith, who you actually used to live in this jail. Now, uh, you said that you lived here for six years. Right. And what, what was it like? Well, uh, it wasn't your typical uh, place to call home when you're in junior high and high school, but I uh, had a lot of friends that uh, thought it was more interesting than living in just a regular house, so I 
I had a lot of people that wanted to come visit, and uh, they. One of the amazing things when when my mother was hired by Sheriff McElroy, he promised my sister and I that we could do anything in the jail, that we could do any place else we lived, and they never they never reneged on that. I got to have uh, parties, poker games, uh, occasional girlfriend, uh, but it was it was just a very interesting place to live. So like all the history behind it and all the experiences that that was like an overwhelming sensation. Well, at my age, it wasn't really overwhelming. I kind of didn't pay a whole lot of attention to it. Uh, we didn't get to come through the front door because it was somebody else's apartment. We came through what I call the North Gate, the big metal bar doors out here on the north side of, of the jail. Mm -hmm. So my entrance to come home every night was right through the sheriff's office and up the cell block, up past all the cell blocks. So uh, I did have a chance to stop and visit with a few prisoners once in a while. And uh, I, I did have a one prisoner that was here for a long time and uh, kind of called him friend. So uh, wasn't scared at all. No, no worry or threat of that. It was, it was just comfortable and it was home. Alrighty. And the final question would be, um, you said you ha you haven't had any eerie or any like paranormal experiences. No, I feel kind of guilty. Although I've ex I've seen a couple of people talk about ones that have happened since we've been here on the, with the committee to restore the jail. Uh, but personally, the whole time I lived here, uh, I never never felt any eerie feelings or uh, heard any noises that I couldn't explain. Uh, although one uh, one of the fellows that works on the committees. Uh, was doing a flashlight tour just a few weeks ago, mm -hmm. and he had five people standing in front of him. He was standing with his hands in his pocket, just explaining a couple of things, and he wears an, a necklace, just a chain. Yeah. And all of a sudden, that chain tugged, and it, it tugged enough that it popped his neck a little, and all of a sudden, it just broke and hit the floor. And he was standing there with both hands in his pocket, and the five people that were watching... Uh, they became believers real quick because I mean it was it was spontaneous and and uh, he had never had an experience before either. So uh, I guess they can they can come anytime and there other people have said they they've experienced real events. That is, that's actually great to hear and the stories actually like embody what this place can be. From from me. This is the final question, and I thank you so much. Thank you. All righty. So heading down. We were just down here, right? No. These are... I think these are men's. Men's? Maybe. Maybe. Well, holy... Yeah, these are men's, because women, women back then didn't really get that much shit. They're in trouble. But men, ooh, God, men. Nasty man. Yeah, so, you know, you ever wonder why there's so many <laughs> unsolved murders and so few women serial killers? Yeah. <laughs> Trying to prove the fact that women are somehow smarter than men. I didn't say that. <laughs> I lied, but I did not say it. You know, there's not a single bed in the woman's cells, but the men still have. Yep, it's still comfortable. Oh, but if you think about it, you know, you can, you can get back colds from laying on the metal if it's cold enough. There's definitely not asbestos here because they would have, they would have definitely made sure that it wasn't available to the public. So I think this is really weird, but there like in the middle of the room on both sides. It's like they actually kind of... Oh. Yeah. It's like... Honey, there's no plumbing. Okay. Oh, oh, like I can break stuff. Yep, complete steel. That's depressing. It is very depressing. But then again, you were dealing with hard knocks. 
every day. This is what you would be like close quarters jail cells. No escape. And you, if you think about it, no one's in these quarters at all besides us. You know, maybe these big numbers are the amount of days that they spent in this place. And if you look closely, you can still see some of the writing from all the old inmates that's just painted over. You okay, honey? Mm -hmm. What? You okay? You zoned out a little bit. It's heavy in here. It's very heavy. And I think... Okay, that's weird. That's weird. Okay. It might be the camera flare or not, but I did see a white orb on your belly, hon. This has had to have been the guards room. Had to have been. Like sitting here. I don't know. Let me see where you actually have to Oh no. This is this is a visit, yeah. yeah. This is the visiting room. This is where you actually have to visit. They prayed it in there before that shower stall. Yeah. And this is where they can talk to her loved ones. Alrighty. And there's a lockbox to all the jail cells. You would have to have an individual key for every guard to push those buttons. Heading down the stairs. Well, I'm so hard for you. Have a good looking way. There's more jail cells. Oh, here, here's a gurney. Huh? Here's a gurney. There's a gurney? There's a gurney. <laughs> this, there had to have been like a, like a hospital, like mini medical room staff thing. But yeah, there's more male jail cells. And this one is... This is solitary confinement. Oh yeah, this is where the bad boys played. I don't know if I can actually walk down there. You're going to have to turn the flashlight on. Alright, and stop the video for me. I'm here with Jenny. Jenny Campbell. I read her name tag. <laughs> I'm not psychic. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we're here to talk about your eerie encounters with the uh, Lincoln County Jail. Okay. Um, I have one in particular that stands So we're both looking at her pictures, and then all of a sudden, you hear her voice repeated from the back of the cell, hey, I'm going to take a picture, the doors are open if anybody wants to look out, and we both get cut to right out of there. <laughs> wow. That is amazing. Yes. They, they, they call that a certain uh, type. Uh, that's demonic, actually. Repeating. So oh, no, you're all right. <laughs> So we got one area in Canada. We'll be interviewing more people here soon. Whoa. You know, 
like right now, hun, I'm right here at first jail cell. I'm heavy on my chest right now. I'm feeling it. Let's keep going. There's a dominant presence here. Honey, I'm just right here. I'm just right here. Don't tell me this was a haunted house attraction at one point. No, why? Okay, good. Why? Because that just ruins it. But yeah, I'm starting to feel really, really heavy. I think this would be the way they lock them up, and this is to make sure. What is that? Oh, this is the box, is what they called it. Yep. Get a better view of that box. My bad, hun. Guard to be walking this way. Clink, clink. Clink, clink on the bars. You know that's. Never mind. What? Just some stereotypical crap that they do in the movies, right? Yes. Okay. You can't buy anything. Alrighty. Go further down. Let me go ahead and go down here. Alrighty, so I'm standing here with Terry Long. And uh, she, you're actually the uh, founder of Long Gone Dolls, right? I love the look of those dolls, by the way. Thank you. Did you check them out on Facebook? No, I, I haven't. Uh, this is actually the first I've heard of you. Oh, great. Thank you. Yes. And I, I was looking at your dolls in there, and they look incredible. Thank you. Check me out on Instagram and Facebook as well. So, Terry Long here. Uh, you've uh, had some experiences here, if I'm correct. Oh, I've had a lot of experiences here, yeah. Well, uh... Do, do share. I'm actually kind of curious, and I'm actually a little nervous. You can see it in my voice. Right. So I actually saw a black shadow figure in the first floor cell block, uh -huh. just kind of walk by um, in the bullpen area. I was doing a flashlight tour, and me and another little girl was looking in the cell block, and we just saw it walk by. I've heard shuffling of feet. I've heard jingling of keys. I've had something whistle at me. I mean, it's, it's crazy in here. It's just constant. Lights turn on, you know, that you've turned off, and you know you've turned them off. It's constant activity in here. You've been helping out with also the restoration of this place, if I'm correct. Yes, we, we run all kinds of fundraisers, like the Jail of Terror. We got Jailhouse Rock Beer Fest going on. Um, we do a uh, jailbreak um, 5K run. Um, there's ghost hunts, public ghost hunts that we do, private investigations, flashlight tours, historic tours. Everything goes back into the restoration of this jail. All the monies go back, all the proceeds, even the merchandise that we sell. Now, you wouldn't dare to lock yourself in one of those cells in the dark, right? Oh, no. No, I know better than, than to do that. No way. Because I actually did I actually did it twice. Oh, man, no. I'm, I'm not doing that. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing that. So, anyways, Terry Long, the founder and owner, if I if I proceed, mm -hmm. of uh, Long Gone Dolls. Yes. You can check out on Facebook and Instagram. Yes. Thank you. Alrighty, and I appreciate your time. Thank you so much. No Sorry, problem. <laughs> hey, honey. I just had this peach beer. It's delicious. <laughs> Connected. Connected jail cells. Wow. Huh? Oh. You're gonna have the top bunk. Oh, I'm about to kick your ass. Bitch, I'll fuck you up. <laughs> I'm ready. <sighs> Their peach beer is actually really good. I know. I didn't want to try that Voodoo Ranger because I'm so sick and tired of IPA. You IPA one, IPA two, and I've had IPA three. Ugh.
What a great song to play during these jail cell walks. For those younger folks, originally performed by Rage Against the Machine. Hey, a lot of people don't know about Rage of the Machine. It's Rage Against the Machine. And we can go further down. Hornets, folks. Seems like Tom's. They found bones of this guy. This is restricted access, huh? I'm bad. Oh no, hun. That's gotta be solitary confinement. I just felt a breath on me. Yep, 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 yep. But then again, that could have been that. Calling cells. Drunk tank. Drunk tank? This is a drunk tank. Honey, these beds ain't even beddable anymore. You can't even sleep on these things. I know. Look, I don't. Don't. Hey, honey, 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 look at this, look at this. There's actual writing documented. Look closely. There's a whole lot of Gerby, Grigsby, Everett, Collins, fucks, more fucks. Brownie. There was a lot of fucks to give. Tommy. Loves with where? And then there's one right there, that's uh, Fiek. Crates. Wow. Boiler room. Honey, look at this. Right there is a face in the photo. That's it. And it's supposed to be, let's see if that's, where's that at? Okay, it's supposed to be a white bar, which could have been right here. It's supposed to be a trash bag like thing somewhere. I can't figure where this is at. Unless they actually did it right here. It's probably where it's actually at. This is the actual boiler room, the side of it. Bet you that switch box still works. Don't mess with stuff. I'm not messing with anything. I haven't touched anything. Yeah, you know? Okay, yes, I've touched a few things, but. Hey, I haven't broken anything just yet. And please don't. Honey. Basement mop broom. One toilet for the people in here. Yep. Honey, I've gained weight. So much. Oh, man. Makes me a lot skinnier than this. This is ridiculous. You actually look pretty good today. Take it as a compliment. I did. I said thank you. I'm gonna get in there. It's so precious. Family photo. <laughs> this would be really weird if I made this baby. 
Well, see, I have a full silicone costume in my car because I own Carnage Haunted House. Yeah. So that would be even creepier, but because it kind of looks like this. All righty. So I'm here with... Mia Reed Miller. And she's part of... Uh, I'm one of the owners of Carnage Haunted House in Columbus, Ohio. And uh, we're here to interview her about the Licken County Jail. Yes. We are actually partnering with the Litkin County Jail as well as the Miller House, which is the true American haunt in Lancaster. We're partnering with them, and we are offering a discount ticket. So if you come to our haunt and bring a ticket from either the Licking County Jail or the Miller House, you get $3 off and vice versa. So we're kind of partnering with them this season. I, if I remember correctly, the Miller House um, is owned by the, uh, the owner of uh, Habitat for Humanity yes. down there? Yes. Yeah. And my mom actually knows her. Yes, Nancy. She, yes, she went to high school with her. Yes, Nancy Novak. Um, so what can you tell me about the experiences that you've experienced here? In here I actually came last year um, for the actual um, Haunted House Adventure, and um, it was an amazing, um, we had an amazing time. It, the, the jail obviously has a great location, and there are spirits and things in here as well. I personally didn't witness any of that, but the jail itself is just an amazing, amazing place to come to. So you get like an overwhelming feeling of like how much history and how much... Oh, absolutely. How and you can actually see in the cell blocks, I mean, what the history is of this place. So. I mean, the thought of just laying on these cold beds at night and just imagining rotting here in these cells. Yes. I can't imagine it. <laughs> Wouldn't want to. Well, I appreciate your time. Oh, no worries. Thank you. You're welcome. She likes it. Say goodbye. Sweet dreams.